Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the banana car. The banana car is a rich in potassium powered by a 302 Ford V8. It can hit 85 miles per hour. The banana car is the brainchild of Steve Brathwaite. Uh, he got a little board with the usual fins and chrome you see on custom hot rods and wanted to do something completely ridiculous. Uh, the vehicle was built in 2009 and involved a lot of fabrication work and overall just a lot of spare time that uh, the creator had uh, basically making it. So really that's about it <laughs> really to sum up this car. It's uh, apparently world famous. I'd never heard of this car until uh, we got this request in but definitely a very interesting vehicle and something out of the usual. Um, I really don't know what else much to say about it. Um, it definitely was kind of a fun little build to put together that's for sure uh, but at the same time it's uh, definitely something very unique uh, to say the very least um, but I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this tutorial possible if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do feel free to check my Patreon page link is down in the description where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your choosing for each month you're a Patreon uh, it's much appreciated it helps me out personally in the channel and you also earn the benefit of gaining uh, your vehicle request um, within a month so Really cool stuff. Feel free to check that out. Again, link is always in the video descriptions. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this banana car before we go ahead and dive into the tutorial for it. Obviously, it's a very odd vehicle. Uh, so the main vehicle itself being basically a um, banana. And yeah, so we got obviously the front up here. Uh, just, you know, your front headlights, front little bumper and all that stuff. You have your front axle, the uh, sides, all that stuff. It's a uh, four seater, so they sit kind of like this. Um, basically in a row and then as you work your way back uh, you have your rear axle again the rear bumper and fender and all that stuff and obviously the stem here that rides up for the banana and all that so uh, it's it's definitely a very unique vehicle uh, definitely is gonna be something weird I guess you put on your worlds I don't know if you're building this I don't know what you're doing but you know hopefully you do enjoy it anyways um, that's it for the overview let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer all right guys go ahead and moving into our first layer we we'll going ahead and moving into obviously layer number one for layer one to go ahead and get started with here we're going to go ahead and place down a block of coal just like this for the start of our wheel followed by a stone button on the side of it we then want to place down a end rod Go into the side like this, followed by a birch top slab, and then a end rod like this, followed by a block of coal, and stone button on the side there to go ahead and make your front uh, axle. With that done, we're going to place down a birch top slab come off this one going forward, and then we're also going to place down a birch top slab going back. So you have some looks like this for the front here. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of birch top slabs across, followed by a second row of three, a third row, and then a fourth row like that. And then we then want to go ahead and go to the um, second row three, place down a birchwood trapdoor on both ends. And then we're going to go to the fourth row three here and place down a birchwood trapdoor again on the sides there like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a birch top slab here in the middle, followed by a wither skeleton skull to both sides of it. After that, we're going to place down a near birchwood top slab back, followed by a dark oakwood fence gate to both sides like so. We're then going to place down a another brick top slab in the middle here, followed by an end rod out to both sides. And then a block of coal coming off the end rods with a stone button on the end here. Same thing over here, just like that. Once that's done right there, that is going to complete our basis here for the vehicle. Here's what it looks like from up above for our chassis. And with that all complete, that's going to wrap up layer one. Let's go ahead and move into layer two. All right, guys, go ahead and move into our next layer. We have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and go to the front here. We're going to place down a brown terracotta block like this, going up from this birch with top slab at an angle up like so. After that's done, coming off of it, we're going to place down a dark oakwood fence gate, and we then want to go ahead and place down an end rod coming off both sides of this fence gate, like so to the sides, followed by a wither skeleton skull on both ends of the end rods, like so. We also want to place down a dark oakwood sign coming off this uh, dark oakwood fence gate, or fence gate right there in the middle. With that finished, going ahead and going back from the end rods here, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, dark oakwood fence key like that on both sides and then we're going to go ahead and switch to yellow concrete and we're going to place down a yellow concrete block here in the middle going back from the brown terracotta block on both sides of this concrete block we're going to place down a sandstone wall we're going to go and do the same thing again yellow concrete block back and a sandstone sandstone wall to both sides after that we're going to place down a row of three of concrete across followed by a second row of three 
a third row of three, a fourth, a fifth, and then a sixth row of three concrete going back. On top of the birchwood trap doors here, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate and have it opened up toward the uh, toward the concrete blocks just like that. On the back here, we're going to place down two yellow concrete blocks going down the back here like so. And then we're going to take birchwood stairs and place down one and two birchwood upside down stairs. Come off those two concrete blocks like that along the side there. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a yellow concrete block here in the middle again, followed by a birchwood corner stair to both sides, and then coming off the side of the stair itself, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood, uh, dark oak wood sign like that going back. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood upside down stair coming off the middle yellow concrete block, and then to both sides of the stair, we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate, just like that, coming off those corner stairs, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood sign on the side here of these fence gates like that. With that done, uh, continuing on toward the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate, come off the stair, and then coming off the fence gate to both sides, we're going to place down another dark oak wood fence gate like that. Um, the middle one should be opened up toward the stair like that. And then we want to go ahead and take a wooden sign, a uh, dark oak wood, and we're placing a wooden sign over the open fence gate. And uh, actually, sorry, my bad. It's going to be the middle fence gate that's going to be closed, and then the ones to the sides here are going to be open. So just like that. And then we then want to go and go to the open fence gates here, and we're going to place down an item frame. And in the item frame, we're going to place down some red stained glass. We can also go ahead and take a dark oak wood sign and place it down on this fence gate as well. So it goes across the item frame and creates a look like that on the back there. With that done, we're going to go and finish this off on the back here by placing down an end rod coming off this dark oak wood fence gate here to both sides just like that and then last thing we just want to do the fenders by placing down a stone slab on top of these blocks of coal uh, where the wheels are just like that all the way around and once you have that done you have your bases set up here here's what it looks like from up above and that right there will complete layer number two let's move into our next layer layer number three all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number three for layer three to go ahead and get started with here we're going to go ahead and go to these fence gates here and on top of them we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door we then want to place down item frames on the trapdoor itself and then place down some snowballs in the iron frames like that to go and make the front headlights. After that's done, we're going to place down a birch slab on top of this yellow concrete block followed by a birch stair directly behind it. We then want to place down an additional one and two yellow concrete blocks going back from this sandstone or this uh, birchwood stair and then to the sides here of this yellow concrete block here, we're going to place down a birchwood stair like this and then one coming off of it so it turns this one into a corner stair. You have a regular stair like this and the same thing over here just like that. We then want to take a skeleton skull, we're going to go, and go to the corner here in between this corner stair and the stair and we're going to place down a skeleton skull there in both corners just like that. With that done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick slab right here going back from the yellow concrete blocks and then we're going to, go and place down a birchwood corner stair like that going to both sides there. Once that's done, we're going to take our yellow concrete, place down a row three across. We then want to place down another narrow brick uh, slab right here, followed by a yellow concrete block on both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of yellow concrete across, again a yellow concrete block to both sides and an air brick slab in the middle, another row of three yellow concrete across, followed by again a yellow concrete block to both sides and a uh, air brick slab there in the middle. After that on top of this uh, birch wood upside down stair we're going to place down a yellow concrete block followed by a sandstone wall to both sides just like that. And then come off this yellow concrete block we're going to place down a birch wood upside down stair like so. Once that's done, uh, the last thing, actually, uh, I think that's actually it for the layer. Um, I thought there was one more thing, but no, we're good to go. Um, that's it for layer number three. With that, we're going to move into our final layers, which are going to basically consist of layers four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to put basically the top stem on and uh, all the details on top there. So with that, let's go move into our last final layers. Moving into our last final layers, we have layers four for eight. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and make the front windshield. For this, real simply, we're going to go and take our light gray stained glass panes, place down a row of three across here, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a birchwood pressure plate. We're going to place down a birchwood pressure plate on that yellow concrete block, and then coming off of it, we're going to place down a uh, banner, just like that. Once that's done, go ahead and go back here. We're going to go ahead and place down a birch pressure plate on top of this yellow concrete block and a black banner coming off that one as well. Uh, with that finished, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some birchwood trap doors. We're going to place down one and two, one and two on the sides here. And we then want to go ahead and place down a row of three birchwood slabs across. Coming off the middle birchwood slab of this opening here for the back of the seat, we're going to place down a black banner again. And then going ahead and working our way back to this section here, we're going to place down a birchwood slab on both sides. In the middle space here, we're going to place down a yellow concrete block followed by a birchwood stair on top of these sandstone walls. 
And then on the back of this uh, yellow concrete blocker, or I should say the side of it, we're going to place down a black banner like that. With that done, come off this yellow concrete block, we're going to place down one block back, sandstone wall to both sides. And then going up on top here, we're going to place down a birchwood stair, upside down stair, come off the back, yellow concrete block on top, sandstone wall on top, and then another brick slab on top, just like that. And once you have that all complete there, that will complete my design for the banana car. Uh, overall, a very interesting build. Probably one of the more unique vehicles we've done uh, on the channel so far. Hope you guys do enjoy the vehicle and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do end up using this, this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be the thing from a sign of the build to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and... Um, yeah, it's uh, definitely very interesting. And again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this tutorial possible. And feel free again to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And with that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary Two Four, and I'll see you guys next time.